His most ardent supporters described the conviction as a sign of his martyrdom, with the head of the Nevada Republican Party going as far as to say that Trump supporters should worship the presumptive GOP nominee and Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene comparing Trump to Jesus. Oh, President Trump is a convicted felon. Well, you want to know something? Something? The man that I worship is also a convicted felon. And he was murdered on a Roman cross. We're here in Sunset Park to worship and bring back the greatest president we've ever known in our generation. Now, as temperatures soared into the triple digits, Trump uh, told his supporters what he thinks about them. Everybody was so worried yesterday about you. And they never mentioned me. I'm up here sweating like a dog. They don't think about me. I'm working my ass off. I don't care about you. I just want your vote. I don't care. It would be suicide before Biden, right? Now, Trump has a history of bathing in messianic rhetoric throughout his trials. He's cast himself as a martyr, compared himself to Jesus, and reshared fan videos uh, like this one, which he declares, quote, God gave us Trump. And from his presidency, of course, you may recall this viral moment. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. Uh, here to discuss our chosen ones uh, this morning, uh, former assistant to President Biden, Megan Hayes, and CNN political commentator, Shermichael Singleton. Uh, Shermichael, I mean, you know, <laughs> this, the, the Jesus stuff, the Messiah stuff, isn't that offensive to evangelicals, conservative Christians? It's going to put me in the hot seat this yeah. morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I think a lot of evangelicals will, will look at the former president and say, oh, you know, that's a little bit of fodder. You know, they have their, their religious beliefs. And you see some people who were at the event. I actually talked to someone who was there, and he said a lot of people looked at it as sort of joke and jokes and bluster. They really want to hear the president, former president, make his case about why he's the better alternative, his case against Democrats, his case against President Biden. That's what really, really riled the crowd up. They sort of laughed at some of this commentary. So I think for those folks, they don't take.